Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and we're in Savannah, Georgia, my wife Jocelyn's favorite city in the entire world and one of my favorite places here in the U.S. to check out. And today what we're going to have is a little Q&A because we know we like to get questions from our fans and we like to answer some of them. And remember, if you see your social media picture pop up here, let us know and we will get you a Walter's World t-shirt. Anyway, let's get started. Our first question today comes from Dolly from Illinois and she asks, you know, what are some tips for traveling with kids? I'm going to put it this way. There's some things you should bring when you do travel with kids. And the first thing you should do when you travel with kids is, one, actually travel with kids. A lot of people I talk to say, well, we're going to travel, but we're not going to take the kids until they're older, until they can appreciate it when they're 13 or 14 or 15. When you were 13 and 14, you didn't care about your parents or anything. You cared about your Nintendos and your phones. Guys, travel with your kids. It is great. You see us traveling all over the world with our kids. It's not hard. And the more you travel with them, the more they, the better they get at it. We can go to fancy restaurants with our seven-year-old and our three-year-old because they know how to act because we've been doing these things for so long. So the first advice, if you think about taking kids, is yes, take your kids. The second thing I should say, if you're going to take your kids traveling, you need to pack one really important thing, and that's your patience. Because your kids are going to be going to different places, but also you're going to get stressed out. And having the patience so you don't blow up at them and things like that, will really help because you know what they're not going to bed at their bedtime they're not getting to see what they like to see and all these things and you need to have the patience for them also with that plan some time for them so when we go we went to Italy a couple years ago we went to Gardaland by you know by the Garda Lake which is a big amusement park we were down here in, in Savannah we said you know what let's drive down to Disney and show the kids Disney and we make sure we take the time to have some kids days it's not just museums and churches and squares it's going to the park and playing going to an amusement park doing stuff that's fun for kids really will make a difference and they'll survive two or three weeks abroad but if you think you can do museum after museum it's not going to work that way so plan some time for the kids and bring patience and the last advice i had if you're going to take your kids abroad is pack a medicine pack okay we take a medicine pack with us everywhere we go because you know for adults it's kind of easy to get medicine but for kids sometimes you need more prescriptions more kinds of stuff so bring your medicine with you. I mean, we have a blue bag we take with us, and we've got kids' medicine for headaches, kids' medicines for cough, kids' medicines for diarrhea, because you know what? It's hard when you go to China to say, hey, my kid has diarrhea, how can you help me? Feel free to translate that in the comments, and I'll superimpose it here, okay? So overall, my advice, one, bring the kids, because the memories you will make with them will be fantastic, and they will remember. Even if they're little, they'll still remember some of it, and that makes a big difference. Two, bring your patience. Three, get the kids involved in the planning, so that means getting some stuff for them. And four, pack the medicine for the kids, because you never know if you're going to have it when you're traveling. So the fourth thing, oh, sorry, our second question comes from Clint J in Indiana, or at least, I, at least that's what his social media says he's from. And Clint asks, Mark, basically, when should I use a travel agent, and when shouldn't I use a travel agent? Well. We at Walter's World don't use travel agents really because we know how to book our tickets online, search for the hotels and things like that. Now, when you do want to use a travel agent, I recommend if you're going to a country you're kind of not familiar with and you're kind of scared about going there, I would definitely go with a travel agent to arrange things for you like hotels. Um, they usually get some good deals on rental cars and things like that. But using a travel agent or not really depends on kind of how many people you have going and where you're gonna go okay so if you're gonna do your research about where to go I would go to a travel agent knowing I want to go to China help me because if you go to a travel agent and say hey I want to travel well they have so many options out there for tours you can take all inclusives all these kind of things it makes it a lot easier if you've done some research beforehand and then let them help them with that so overall if you feel you can do it yourself do it yourself but if you need some help or you're not 100 percent confident or you're going to someplace you feel might be a little dangerous i would use a travel agent that way okay because they can be very helpful so our next question comes from elizabeth k from massachusetts and she asks mark where, where can i get the best exchange rates um i'll tell you we always use our debit card not our credit card our debit card from our local bank okay and we tank out money with that while we're abroad because you're going to get your best exchange rate on average sometimes you can get a great rate at a bank or some exchange house but 
nine times out of ten your best rates probably gonna be from an ATM with your debit card okay so before you go make sure you call your bank to let them know you're gonna be abroad and get the pin number so you can get your cash out that way and our last question comes from Domingo in Spain and Domingo asks hey Mark is it safe for me to travel in a rental car and on the train in the US it's the same everywhere okay I always find it funny when I see travelers they put on I think they put on a magical fanny pack and nothing bad will happen to them my friends wherever you travel in the world you got to use your brain okay so you can rent a car pretty much anywhere and you can take a train pretty much anywhere and you'll be okay if you're paying attention but the thing is you gotta pay attention you just because you're a tourist doesn't mean it's gonna get you out of trouble but for Domingo yes you're safe to rent a car and travel around the US and yes you're safe to take Amtrak and the trains but just like in Spain you don't want to take the trains late at night and you don't want to park your car with cash sitting there in the thing in the dash so make sure if you're renting a car take all your stuff out every night don't let any money or anything of value sit out like your iPad or phone because in Spain or here in the US someone might break the window and steal it okay and also with the trains again pay attention to your surroundings you should be okay just like anywhere else so I hope that helps you with your questions and answers if you have some travel related questions please shoot us an email or leave a comment below and we'll be glad to answer them on our next set so Dolly Clint Elizabeth and Domingo, please contact me or I'll contact you actually and we'll get you some Walters World t-shirts. So have a great time. Again, if you want to visit here in Savannah, it's a beautiful place. We've got 10 things to do here in Savannah, five things you love and hate, really good time. And I just met a Swedish guy who was actually looked up Savannah before he was here. Really nice guy. Anyway, I'll see you later and have a great time traveling. And again, you got any questions? Leave it below. We always try to help. So bye from Savannah, Georgia.